attention. And today's gonna be... Today's gonna be Struggle Collated Story Time. I got strawberry kiwi. So my story's gonna be about how I came from my home state, which was California, to where I'm at now, which is Georgia. So yeah, let's get into a story. Okay. So, not many of you know this if you don't follow me on my other channel, which is Tiffany Kenshin. I'm actually originally, originally from California. I was kind of in the valley area, so hey, if you're from San Francisco, what's up? <laughs> I stayed in California for probably most of my life until I was like 18 years old. And a whole falling out came, and a lot of drama happened, and I was kicked out of my house. And I got really, it was really funny, great, amazing timing. Cause I was actually dating somebody at the time of this and I'm not gonna get any names or in, in this story or anything like that because it's just confidential and all that crap so I'm not doing it um anyway so I was dating this guy at the time who lived in Tennessee and I actually got paid the day after I was kicked out so I was staying with a friend that one night and then I bought my ticket the next day and I bought a Greyhound ticket, I actually believe it was like $210 for a, tri a one tri way trip from California to Tennessee. So it wasn't really that bad, it was, it was okay. I had a lot of money left up after that so I was able to like be stable when I was there. So that was really good. I was kind of like, I was like, this is gonna go great. <laughs> um, so I got the ticket and I, I had this like last minute going away party at the terminal before I was able to like before I was leaving because the terminal was like outside because our town's kind of cheap but our terminal was outside and I had like six of the people there with me like trying to get me to stay but I couldn't because like I don't know if any of you have this issue but when you get into a world of shit and like all your friends and stuff are like I'm gonna be there for you and I love you and I got your back and then when when it happens, you're like, hey, can I stay with you a little bit? Or can I stay with you for a little bit till I find a place of my own and whatnot? They're like, oh, well, I don't know if my parents are gonna let you and stuff like that. Well, that's kind of what I was in. They wanted me to stay, but they didn't want to help me stay, if that makes sense. So I was like, well, you guys aren't helping me stay, so I guess I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna dip. <laughs> and um, so I did. I got onto the bus. And, I mean, it was really nice because there were some pretty cool people on the bus when I was there. Um, I had these, like, two guys that was, like, going the same route as me, basically, for, like, I think a vacation thing. I forgot what it was. But, um, they were really cool and very nice. And we had, a, like, nerd chat for a while. We were talking about, like, video games and anime and stuff. Which was, which was pretty relaxing because I was, like, thinking... Oh my god, I am 18 years old, I'm on my fucking own, and I'm leaving state. Hmm. <laughs> let's, let's see how this goes. Um, so, the bus trip was a maximum of four days, but it actually took five days, I think. Um, there was a lot of, like, stops. <laughs> because, you know, changing buses, obviously a bus driver's not going to drive five days straight. And we had to pick up other people, let other people off. You know, I'm sure you know how buses work. Well, we get to LA. And that's when our first stop, actual stop was. We get to LA. And I saw this one dude. And he stood out to me completely. Because he was wearing like this tank top and like skinny jeans. And I was like, well, this is going to be interesting. Boy, was I right. Oh, my good. What even? So, it's always kind of nice. And I wanted to like to talk to people on this bus ride because I was like anxious and nervous and stressed. And I just wanted to get my mind off of it. My other two friends that I made on the bus had to leave that terminal, I think. So, they were splitting off from me and I was like okay well I need to 
meet somebody else to talk to while I'm on this trip to hell. <laughs> um, so I, I said, you know what, I said hi and hey, what's up? He couldn't find a seat. I offered him a seat next to me because it was open because nobody wants to sit next to me. I'm, I'm weird looking. I had like long red hair at the time and like I was wearing like all black and I was, I, I looked scary. Oh, <laughs> I looked kind of scary. So I offered him my seat. First mistake. <laughs> I, was, I was stuck with this kid until Texas and then the entire time he was flirting with me. He was kind of harassing me. I mean, he was nice and all, but at the same time, like, there could have been other ways of dealing with this. And he kind of was pushing himself on me the entire time. And he was like, but buying things for me. I mean, I don't know what girl would complain about that, but I just, I was uncomfortable. He was, he was making me uncomfortable for the most part. And, um, just, there was no way to handle it. I was kind of stuck because the bus was full. I couldn't just, you know, get up and move and just not continue. But I couldn't. So after that entire thing, oof, he, we get to Texas. And there was like a storm, I think, in Texas or something like that. It was like a dust storm or snowstorm. Not a snowstorm tornado thing going on I don't know it's something weird that weird Texas weather I don't know <laughs> um but we stop at Texas for a little bit and our bus leaves us at a gas station like the entire everybody basically like with our stuff obviously it didn't take our stuff but like basically left us at a bus station and we were all stranded at a bus station and we were there for a good like two, three hours. It was kind of ridiculous. A greyhound in it. It was like it's like a small. It was supposed to be a small stop. And our bus driver leaves. Great, cool, whatever. Probably the most stressful drive I've ever had. And after that, we finally get another bus driver. We get to our final text stuff where this, me and this guy actually split off. And I had a, this one vaping was becoming popular and I had a like, you know, circle mod thing in my luggage. And I wasn't thinking much about it because I, I mean, it's just a vape. It's, you know, vapor, smoke, flavored juices. And I had like two juices on me and my vape pen because I was, at the time I was quitting smoking and um, I just wanted to, you know, vape because it was a stressful time and whatnot. Well, the bus stop wouldn't, like the bus person, whatever you want to call him, the people that like check your luggage and stuff, was going to confiscate all my, like all my like vape stuff and whatnot because I, it was illegal in Texas. I'm literally going to be there for like maybe five minutes. I'm not staying here. I'm going to Tennessee where it is legal to have. I don't want to give you my $150 mod for me being here for five minutes. Like I should be able to allow to have, I should be able to have it on. And I argued with this guy for a good like 20 minutes about this situation. And he finally was like, okay, you can have it, but don't just remember not to bring it back to Texas. I'm like, okay, I'm not planning on coming back anyway. Okay. And, um, so we finally got on the bus at the final stop in Texas and everything else is pretty much smooth. Like I finally got away from that one dude, I'm out of freaking Texas <laughs> and now I just had a long bus ride to freaking Tennessee and, um, it was okay. I mean, I have nothing against Greyhound. Greyhounds are great. They give you a lot of, they give you like good prices and whatnot for buses and include Wi-Fi and whatnot so if you didn't have service like I didn't have service when I left because I didn't pay my phone bill before I left so I didn't have service so I had to use the Wi-Fi to talk and um so that was good 
So I get to Tennessee. No, wait, let me just remind you. I don't think I told this in the beginning of the story. The guy that I was dating at the time that lived in Tennessee, we were together for about a week before I, before I was like, hey, I got kicked out. Can I come, can I come live with you? Yeah? Okay. So I, I, I've always Skyped with this kid like maybe two, three times. And I never met him or anything like that. We were dating for a week. Um, so I was nervous because I was finally getting close to Tennessee. And I knew, I th I'm pretty sure he got drunk the day before. So I was like, is he even going to come get me? Like, what's going to happen once I get here and like nobody shows up? <laughs> or like some like, somebody else shows up and they're like, you know what I mean? Like it was kind of a sketchy situation. So I get there and I'm finally hanging out and he's actually there before I am. So I, I mean, it was pretty cool. So he's there before I am. I'm like sitting here with my, <laughs> I'm like five foot two, five, like five foot two. No, I'm like five feet, like direct five feet. I'm sitting there with my like little luggage, like looking around. I have like my big bag and my like carry on and like one more bag, I think. And I'm sitting here with my big suitcase. I'm like lifting up, like trying to at least. And I'm like looking around, I'm like, I wonder where he's at. And he's sitting there, um, you know, he actually helped me and whatnot. So when he finally realized I was there, because I couldn't get my phone at the time, um, he actually came over and helped me and whatnot. He was a really good person. And so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I got here. I'm not really going to do a whole relationship story after that. We, we actually were together for a while. We were together for like nine months. But yeah, um, that's how I got to. Tennessee and I got to Georgia after a little like nine after like a year So I was with him for like nine months and I finished school and I moved to Georgia with my current bur boyfriend <laughs> With my current boyfriend and that's where I'm at right now And I'm probably moving again because I normally do <laughs> I move a lot. I'm I can't say put <laughs> I'm actually planning on probably moving back to either Colorado or California. I haven't decided yet it's one of those two though. California, my hometown, where everybody misses me and wants to be back apparently. Or Colorado, where it's like really good weather and I love the scenery there and um, the mountains and whatnot. So I haven't decided. But yeah, that was my story time. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's probably boring. I don't really watch story times on YouTube, but that was kind of the content I had planned today. So yeah. This is Tiffany Tension, and cheers!